Uh, hello. Um, I'm Squid, if you haven't seen this channel before, but uh, we're going to be doing a casual playthrough of Salt and Sanctuary's Day. Um, this is one of my favorite games, and I think I'll enjoy just doing a casual, casual playthrough of it. So let's hop right into it. Uh, this will be mostly unedited, I think. I just f feel like doing, you know, just a really casual playthrough, just as something to upload to YouTube and something to keep myself entertained. So yeah, uh, yeah. Let's start off by making ourselves a character. Uh, I'll go for something I usually go for. Um. Uh, hmm. But you know what? I'll try to model this character after myself. You know, because why not? This is the closest thing you you guys will get to a face reveal for a while, I think. But yeah, I have really messy dark brown hair and a, a little bit of stubble on my chin. I, I, I want to get it shaved, but yeah. Procrastination. I'm so lazy, but yeah. Blue eyes. I am pale, like pale, pale. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, as for build, I feel like going for uh, for great axes, um, because that sounds fun. Or doing an axe build. I've I've been playing with axes a little bit lately, so it should be fun. Start off as the popper. I don't usually or pauper, however you want to pronounce it. But yeah, I I don't uh, go for this starting option very often, but we'll see how it is. We'll see how it is. Let's get started. Should be a good time. All right. Uh, ooh, we have a pitchfork. Lovely. Um, I want people to fast roll, or like do a really fast roll. We, yeah. We can do that. Just take our shirt off. That's fine. We don't need that anyways. Just roll past these guys. We're going to be fighting the first boss of the game. Usually you die to this in your first playthrough, but we're going to be trying to kill it. And that damage is, isn't great. It's not bad, but yeah. This boss has an insane amount of health for the first part of the game. As I said, you're supposed to die to it. First playthrough. Ooh. Okay, I don't mind that. Pitchfork. Oh no, lag, lag, lag. Ah! Don't kill me, please. I'm trying to do a playthrough here. No. But yeah. This boss has a total of three moves, and all of them can pretty much one shot you. Know? So, they want to be able to just roll as fast as you can and try to stay out of the way. Uh, he's weak to blunt damage, but obviously we don't really have a blunt weapon. Having a pitchfork and an axe, but yeah. I might try to use these fire pots. Ooh, that's not bad. Yeah, I'll, I'll use up the fire pots on this. And my game is lagging. Eh. Salt Sanctuary doesn't seem to like me recording. That's fine. And we're about halfway through. Yeah, this is just a test of endurance. If anything. Endurance, patience. Whatever you want to call it, just waiting a long time. And staying focused. He only has one phase, and that's this. So, if you want to try how to beat him yourself, um, I would recommend just like spending a while in, in learning the moves and how to properly dodge them. Um, a good tip is to keep him out of the corners and try to keep him in the center. So if he, like, backs off into a corner, we'll s s see if he does that, but, yeah, if he backs off into a corner, just 
back away, go to the other side of the, the arena, and he'll come towards you. Because if you're in the back, you can't roll past him. If you can't roll past him, you get hit. Meaning you die instantly. So, that's sort of my strategy. And of course, as I said, he is weak to blunt weapons, so if you really want to beat him, I would choose like the Paladin or the Cleric. They both start with uh, maces or a Morning Star. And the Cleric has, uh, oh, whatever the paper is called, that applies holy damage to your weapon, which uh, this boss is also weak to, so yeah. I would definitely choose Cleric or Paladin. And hopefully we don't choke this final bit of the fight. That would be good. Yeah, as... So he's kind of in the corner there, I'm gonna try... Yeah, he'll walk towards you. Just keep him out of the corner. There we go. I'll try to get some gold here. It's alright if we don't pick up any. We don't really need gold this early in the game, but that's the unspeakable deep. Unspeakable deep. Cleared. Quite literally unspeakable. Alright. So, right off the bat, you can see that killing that boss gave us 8,800 uh, salt, which is really good this early into the game. Um. As for Creed, I think we'll just go with the three. Something pretty standard. Okay, we can three hit the zombies here. Eh, that's not great, but it's not bad. Could be worse. Mm -mm. Yeah, it, sh it should be improved after we get the, like, 10 levels here after killing the boss because it gives you a lot of salt. Yeah, yeah we can get right up to level 12. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, the popper power it doesn't start with anything. Normally classes start with like some skills unlocked, but the, the popper just it doesn't have anything. That's really interesting. Good to know. Okay, let's start there. Yeah, we'll go for hammers and axes, or great hammers and great axes. Uh, yeah, get the shield, get this, uh, yeah, we'll be, like, heveling, yeah, heveling, a uh, leveling heavy into strength at the very beginning. Because we need that. How does this thing scale? Okay, scales B with strength. Okay, that's not bad. Again, could be worse. Okay. I'll be going th through this area pretty quickly. I I won't get everything, but yeah. Hell. Yeah. Okay, down to two hits. That's good. Scare the crows away. And right into the festering banquet. Potatoes. Bam, get killed with a potato. Joking. We should, we should not be taking that much damage this early. You'd think I'd never played the game. Almost 50 damage with the parry. That is not bad. Yeah, axes. They're 
Okay, standard axes, like hand axes like this, aren't great in this game, so I will be going for the, the great axes, the big axes, but we can't get those for a little while. So, so we're stuck with this for a minute. Yeah, I'll get the ring up here. Easy money, or it is a decent ring if you want to use it. My god, you idiot. There we go. That's completely unnecessary, but you know. Just leave that guy be up there. Ah, hello. Nice to see you guys too. second boss up here, or normally the first boss. Clean up my inventory a bit. Yeah. Alright, so this boss isn't too bad. He can be a bit of a challenge on your- or if you're new to the game, but small health bar and moveset, that's pretty pr predictable. Yeah, see that wind up? His moves are all telegraphed pretty good. We just w want to watch out for that combo that can get you, like I did just there. Yeah. Oh, when you does that, just stay out of his way. Maybe get a hit or two, and he's dead. Great. get his ashes and, and the fortress key. I mean, we can get out of here. Hello. I'll just uh, skip past your dialogue because we might need you later on because you, you can get a king's orders from him if you find him everywhere and max out his dialogue. Ow. By... yeah. Some of that. here, a level up, and then head down to uh, the Village of Smiles. Yeah, alright. More heals, and more stuff. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Alright. I can speak, trust me. Ow. 
how. I forgot that it could do that. Alright, here, activate the trap. Or jump over it. Clever dog. And you're dead. Sorry, puppy. Decimate. Actually, I, I want to get the ring over here. M maybe the armor as well. Or a singular armor piece. We'll see. We can one-shot those now. Nice. Or two-shot, whatever. Same thing, you know. <laughs> Hop, skip, and jump over here. Grab that. And we grab this. We gra <laughs> grab this. It's a, yes, it is a pumpkin. It's really good, actually. Trust me. It gives a lot of armor. So, for now, we're a pumpkin head. Looking dope. <laughs> I'm sorry for saying dope. I, I know I should not have freaking ignore you. I don't care about you. Creepy scarecrow guy. Okay. Do do. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's get some more endurance. I would love to be able to fast roll sometime, or the fastest roll. We are technically fast rolling here, but I want a faster roll. And let's upgrade our axe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Alright. Thank you. Put on the mitts for some extra strength. Ah, there's not a ladder there. <laughs> I forgot about that. Hello. Ow. That's not fair. You've got more reach than me. It's not allowed. Now we can one-shot these. Parry you. Deal some damage. And you're dead. We'll grab the secret ring down here. For some fast rolls, or faster rolls. You know what I mean. Increases a roll speed. Blessed page. We can use these on the upcoming boss. The Queen of Smiles. Isn't she happy? Hello. Hello. So, this boss isn't too bad, just stay out of her way and roll past all of her attacks except that. In the second phase, she does a pinwheel, that, which is a bit hard to roll past, I s s struggle with it sometimes. I like that. Use another blessed page. And finish her off pretty quick in a second. Oh, you're one hit. There you go. Alright. And a Queen of Smiles done. Cheery boss fight.
We don't care about that. Yeah, we don't. We do care about the charm down here, which increases our damage. Hell, I meant to do that. The blood flower charm increases your damage or attack power. Whichever. And yeah, up here I'll buy a shield because it's a good shield, but yeah. I'll level up and head to next area. And then I might end the episode, or we might also do the uh, the sunken keep because that's a quick area, usually. Yeah, get some more endurance. Yeah. yeah we'll buy the the tooth shield, which I like for a few reasons. One. It's a good shield. You can block 100% of strike and slash defense, and some pretty good everything else. And also, it has a squid on it, <laughs> which is kind of my brand, you know? So, yeah, it's got a writhing squid on it. So, it's obviously a good shield. Like here, observe. It blocked that. <laughs> See? I love doing that. All right, Kurimoa. Uh, okay, when we can, I want to get a great sword because we'll be using that. Actually, never mind because we'll get a great hammer, which will be a good substitute until we get our great axe. I'll just kill these guys real quick. Bonk. Turn up the music, actually. Yeah, because it's a good soundtrack. Hello. Observe. We take no damage. Most shields block like 90% around that of strike and slash damage, but this one is really good. I like it. Just um, so many of you. It always feels badass uh, deflecting the arrows, especially of the vile hawks because they're annoying. I know there's a, a secret up there, but we don't really need it. Get over here. I want that though. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh, Skull Bat Wing. Okay, so we have like three now, right? If so, that's really good. Yeah, how many do we have? Because you can use the Skull Bat Wings. Yeah, three. You can use them to get more points with your creed. Ow. Oh right, there's another axe up ahead. Hello. Here we go. Bye bye. Battle axe. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Can we make this jump? No, we have to take off armor. There we go. Get our pumpkin head back. Yeah, damage with this is quite good. Quite good. 
Hello. Oh, yeah, fair enough. I like this move set. Anyhow, I will give you a bonk. There we go. Then rest at the sanctuary here. Boss can be annoying, but we deal good damage, so it shouldn't be too bad. The Mad Alchemist. I love his hat. Oh. 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 Okay. So, uh, we deal decent damage. You know. <laughs> okay, it's not normally that easy, but apparently he's weak to this axe. Alright, tough fight, tough fight. We Hello again. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, let's do the sunken keep. Then one. Or, or rather, and then end the episode, because we're almost half an hour here. Hello. Alright, we can one shot them. That's good. These are called uh, wretch feeders, they're very annoying. But have low health, so. All right, Warhammer. It's not an axe, but it'll do. <laughs> it'll do. Yeah. Once you get a great axe, I want to use that because I really like the move set. But this deals a ton of damage, and it's just overall a very good weapon, especially this early in the game. Bonk. No. Uh, yeah. They can stun lock you like that. Yeah, I should have <laughs> waited a bit more so I could get the drop on them. But that's alright. Not much of a loss. I'll just run past them these this time. These ones could jump and ambush us while we're dealing with the ones down there. There we go. Alright, let's go do the boss real quick. Hello, Kraken Cyclops. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, okay, Axe. 30 damage. 24 damage. Okay, so you're weaker to slashing. It's very easy with the shield, so. Just be using it as like a safe card. I prefer to roll and just roll th through the attacks because 
it's more of a flex. It looks cooler than just holding your shield up, but it's also more risky, so it's a good fail safe. Like, if you need to panic, you can just hold it up. And basically saves you from death most of the time. Unless you run out of stamina. Ow. Okay, break the shield. <laughs> I want more damage. Because you do more damage if you two-hand weapon. Oh, don't kill me here. No, not like this. <laughs> okay, I played that very poorly, but it's fine. Okay, I'll take it. Just want to grab this real quick. strength at this point in the game. Speaking of, let's get this ring. The plated band, it increases your strength. Just have to make a quick run back around. That is why Warhammer is so fun. You can also parry with them, which is really cool. Like that. It's just fun. <laughs> Alright, next boss time. Also, uh... uh a tip for new players, if you see this candelabra, it means uh, there's a boss uh, close by, so keep an eye out for it, just so you know. <laughs> it took me a while to realize that and figure it out, so... <laughs> Alright, decent damage. We have no stamina though. We should. Uh, work on that. Stagger him like each hit. One more hit. There we go. Okay. I'll, I'll make my way over to the Castle of Storm Sanctuary, and then we'll end the episode there, I think. I always answer yes to this.
perfect little thing. You can get up here. And they recently added an item and a ring. So you can... Takes a little bit of finagling. Like so. Like that, you can get up here. And you get some charred dolls and a corroded ring. It increases your thrown item damage and explosives damage. So good. Hold on. There we go. Much better. Bum, bum, bum. And up here is our very first war axe or battle axe or great axe. That's the one. Here we go. Isn't it beautiful? It is a really cool move set. You do that, which deals a ton of damage. Bunk. It's just great. Okay. Let's test it out. Yep, not bad. Not bad at all. Hit me. Thank you. <laughs> ha! One shots. <sighs> okay, I have never one shot that guy before. That's <laughs> what you get when you level purely into strength. I like this thing. Come here. Hello. Two hits. Still not not gonna go for big boy, but maybe in the future. I missed the thing. I forgot to go back around now. Okay. There are upgrade material. Materials down here. Yeah, we'll get here, upgrade our axe, and then end the episode. Nearing on 40 minutes now. I'm going a, a little bit slower than I normally would in a playthrough just for doing sake and so I can explain what I'm doing, but yeah. Okay. Offer you up. And upgrade the axe. It is a cool looking weapon. <laughs> Gotta say, the art of this game is just phenomenal. I need more salt. I'll be right, be right back. Let me kill some stuff. I went the wrong way. <laughs> uh, I'm so good at this game, you know? It's got insane range as well. So we need like 2,500 salt, I think, to be able to fully upgrade this. Or not fully. Upgrade it as much as we can. Actually, 
Can we buy some? The merchants sell crates of salt. But they're expensive. But yeah, we can buy one. Thank you. Nice. Outlaw Great Axe plus four out of seven. That's not good, or that's not bad. Okay, well, I think I'll end off the episode here. Um, we'll continue very soon, but I hope you enjoyed. If you did and want to see more content like this, you can subscribe if you want. If not, that's cool too, no pressure. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. And we'll take on the Castle of Storms. Alright, bye guys. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.